Hello friends, welcome to another video on Tutorials Point with me Richa. Well, today in our segment we will cover the module of Teaching Skills for Educators. We will cover 12 chapters under the same. Our first topic is on aspects of a teacher's role. Well friends, a teacher is to a student how a parent is to a child. And the way the teacher interacts with the student can make or break a student's self-esteem. So today in this module, we will try to understand what are the different aspects of a teacher. On the agenda today, we will understand, identify and explain the different aspects of a teacher's role, identify the significance of a teacher as a planner, as an information provider, a facilitator, an assessor, a reformer and a role model. Well, I'm very excited to teach you on this particular module and hence let's get started right away. Well friends, aspect of a teacher's role, as I mentioned before, a teacher's role is not only to teach a student, she has multiple roles and responsibility and she actually helps to carve the life plan or the career plan for a child or a student. Let's look at all of these. So a teacher is a planner, she helps to plan the student's entire life plan and hence as a planner she plays a very important role. She is an information provider, so all the information that a student can learn from a teacher is provided to him by the teacher. Facilitator, a role of a teacher also becomes a facilitator wherein she tries to facilitate the entire learnings for the, you know, a student and also trying to carve the every important lessons and competencies of a student. She is an assessor, an assessor of his or her weaknesses and strength. She is a reformer. A teacher can just change the entire traditional way of teaching and she helps to reform not only one student but reform the entire life or rather the entire system of education. She is a role model because whatever a teacher does, the student learns from them so she has to walk the talk. Well friends, now we will understand all these different aspects of a teacher's role in a very detailed manner. So today as a teacher, as a planner is, she helps to chalk out the students where, when, how, what, who and why. Well planning for a teacher is critical because he or she is responsible for a student's learning path or the curve. Well. If a student is able to learn something, it is only because a teacher has planned the curriculum very well. And also a teacher is the best judge of what a student can learn and when and how can the student learn. Because not one size fits all. So different students have a different mind frame and a different way of learning. A teacher is the best planner in terms of how to make the student learn. So a teacher as a planner can build or break the self-esteem of a student. Well, a teacher's negative remark on a student can really affect the student's self-esteem and that can be a disaster for his own life later on. So whatever the teacher says, she has to be very, very careful because it can make or break a student's self-esteem. Teachers can encourage or discourage an individual from striving to give her best and stretch her boundaries. Well friends, only a teacher knows how much a student can really stretch himself or herself to learn better, to be a better human being. If a teacher restricts a student, then that is not good for him because a teacher only knows how much more a student can really deliver and she should never restrict that. Let's look at a role of a teacher as a facilitator. Well, as a facilitator, teachers promote creativity and self-motivation. It is important that a teacher is always motivating the student, not only one child but many children because that helps them to believe in themselves. Facilitators help the student develop critical thinking skills and retain the knowledge that leads to self-actualization. 
There is a difference between facilitating and teaching. A teaching is only a one-way communication and a facilitator is a two-way communication wherein whatever the student is telling, a teacher is listening and giving his or her feedback and vice versa. A facilitator creates an environment which is conducive to learning from each other. So a teacher should not only teach the students by you know uh, the traditional way but she should also make an environment which is conducive to learning. She should also emotionally connect with the students and help to build a good relationship. It should not be that a student who wants to ask a teacher something gets fearful of approaching the teacher. She should be or he should be so open to the students that anyone can come up and talk about their problems to her. Teacher as an information provider. Well, there is definitely a lot of information to be given out to the students and how he or she prepares that information to be given to the student plays a critical role. Students are dependent on the teachers for information and for the knowledge and today definitely students are getting the information and knowledge from many other sources like the internet, their friends, etc. However, friends, teachers still play a very critical role in providing all the information and knowledge to the students. Teachers form the foundation of basic knowledge and empower the students to excel in different fields. So a teacher's role is not only to provide just the basic knowledge, but she should go out of her boundaries and teach many other things to the student so that they can really excel and do world class in different fields. Teacher as an assessor. Well, let's take a look at how a teacher can also assess. The teacher plays a vital role in assessing the student's competencies as well as assessing the course or the curriculum delivered. Well, a teacher is given a curriculum by the university or by the school or college. Now, she or he has to decide how to use that curriculum to the best of its advantage so that the students learn in an effective manner. So let's understand this aspect of being an assessor enables a teacher to better manage a student's learning path. It is only a teacher's responsibility as well as responsiveness which will ensure that a student's learning path is chalked out in the right manner. Well, a teacher as a reformer, as mentioned a little while back, a teacher really helps to evolve or reform not only you know the traditional way of teaching because today it is not very effective to go for the traditional way of teaching rather a teacher has to uh, use a modern way of teaching so a teacher is capable of bringing about change in not just one student but also in the education style as well as the entire system and that is how effective the role of a teacher because she can make or break the education system with individual unique style and passion, a teacher can reform the traditional way of teaching and empower the students to adapt to the changing environment and be more and more successful. So if a teacher feels that a student is not learning in the traditional way of teaching, she can actually start using different ways and modern ways of teaching rather than stick to only the traditional way. So friends, teacher is also a reformer, a reformer of the entire education system, a reformer of using a modern style. Well, teacher as a role model, all of us look up to our teachers as a role model and that is how important, like a child look up to the parent and copies what he or she is doing in the same way a student also looks up to the teacher and copies what he or she is doing. So a teacher needs to actually walk the talk. A teacher inadvertently becomes a model for whatever has to be learned by the student. Students tend to learn not just what the teacher is saying but also from what they do and the knowledge, the skills, the attributes and the attitudes what they exhibit and hence it becomes important that the teacher should really walk the talk. He or she just not is teaching, the students is also copying them for different other things. 
well whether you choose or not you are a role model and so you should feel a special burden to perform well it is a lot of burden on a teacher's head because when a student is really copying you your attitude your behavior your body language the way you speak all of that can really definitely needs to put a lot of burden on the student or rather put a lot of burden on the teacher to perform well well friends that brings us to the end of this particular slide on or rather this particular chapter on aspects of a teacher's role if we look closely at each of our depictions of the role of a teacher we can appreciate the teacher of being not only a teacher but also multiple facets being a teacher is not only about teaching your subject we have seen how a role of a teacher has multiple facets of a planner a facilitator a role model an accessor a reformer etc i do hope you have enjoyed listening to this particular video on aspects of a teacher's role keep watching more videos coming your way thank you for listening to us tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning